If she doesn't trust you with other girls, it's probably because of what she does with other guys. So why don't you come on? You dance with me, come on. Throw your cares away, there's nothing left to say. Come on. You dance with me. That quote is from an amazingly awesome guy named Brandon from Worth the Risk. I am Martin Saycon and you're watching Saycon Says. Relationships can be so fun, can't they? But they can also be your worst nightmare. Hey baby, can you sit with me at lunch today? No, shut up, bitch! Oh my god, we are so done. We're done when I say we're done. You want me to hit you in front of all these people? Because I'll do it. I'll do it. No, baby, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just... I'm so sorry. <laughs> now that's my kind of relationship. Let me ask you a question. Is it okay to see a no-hitter in person? Of course. Is it still okay to miss the no-hitter if you're missing your son's first birthday? Hell no, man. That shit is whack. Well, apparently that didn't bother him. If you watch the video, as soon as Santana strikes the guy out and the team begins to maul him, this guy is amongst the bunch of the team. Wearing a jersey from the late Gary Carter. But don't worry, props to the Met security for handling this. I didn't even notice the guy was there. And it looks like that guy won't be getting any from his wife. Ah, ah, ah. And you can bet that he's going to be on the hook for this one for a while. She left the balloons hanging up for when he came home. Isn't this like calling out sick for work? If you're going to call out sick, make sure you don't get caught on camera at a baseball game. You know what, I've always wanted to go to the movies in Germany. Maybe I'll see a movie called Attack of the Rats. Emlyn, Germany, and yes, I probably said that wrong, is where the legend says that Peter Piper led the rats out of the city and to their death in the river. What does this have anything to do with the story? Well, the rats are back, but officials say they won't need Peter Piper. I'm sorry to spoil your fantasy, kitties, but rats are actually pretty good swimmers, so... So what you're saying is the story isn't true? Yup. Sorry. All right, guys, I, I kind of have an important announcement to make. Um, oh, no. I know I know that the rumors have been going around, and I wanted to clear them up. Oh, say it ain't so. I, I just wanted to say I, I can't hide my feelings anymore. It's all right, Martin. We're going to be there to support you. We'll get through this. Thanks. All right, remember when I said the Green Lantern sucked? Well, apparently he does. Does what? Suck a lot of penis! Um, I don't get it. Well, let me explain. In the upcoming comic release, the Green Lantern is coming out of the closet. Wait, is this supposed to help the movie series? Because I'm not so sure that it does. I don't know. But hey, you gotta ask the question now. What? Is Ryan Reynolds gonna stay with the movie? Is he gonna take a dick? All questions I do not want answered. Thank you. Let me ask you a question. Boxers or briefs? Well, you know, boxers are always great because they have the pee hole through them and you don't have to, like, pull them down. And, and briefs are always good because I have a lot of junk and, you know, I gotta hold it together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, dog, dog, dog! Wow, just give me an answer. Um, boxers. Why? Wrong. Apparently, if you're gonna hold up a coffee shop, the choice is briefs. Man held up a coffee shop in Idaho. No, you the hoe. Really? <sighs> where apparently he wore briefs on top of his head as he robbed $500 out of the safe. Because $500 goes a long way nowadays, especially when you have briefs on your head. This is like taking Quail Man to the extreme. And no, he has not been caught. What is happening to this world? Well, I'm out of time. I hope you enjoyed your time here. And if you did, please hit the subscribe button. Or follow me on Twitter to get the full Saycon experience. Links are below. And once again, check out my favorite band from Minnesota, Big Time Rush. Oh, I love those guys. Uh, no, worth the risk. Check them out. They're doing shows all over Minnesota right now. And they intend to tour next summer, so get on the bandwagon before this band becomes big. One of the sexiest white boys I've ever seen. <laughs> Especially that new one, Logan. Mm, he looks delicious. Give me a call. Hey, Saritha, Saritha Bo Jackson. <laughs> okay, I'm officially creeped out. Live life, love yourself, and stay true. By the way, I love the heat, but does anyone else think that Chris Bosch kind of looks like a dinosaur?